had to get out today, man. Go for a walk with the shepherd. It's beautiful out. It's doing some work in uh, this laundry room that I'm half-assing, remodeling. Not very good at it. That's why I'm a cop, not a contractor. I'm listening to a book uh, by Pete Hadsack, who's an ex-veteran, who's a veteran. He's an anchor on Fox News, telling these stories about veterans and men and women serving our country. They make it so I can do this every day with my dog. It brings me back to a call we had last week. One of my guys is going above and beyond. It was a, like a little bit of a snowstorm, three or four inches of snow in the road. And all of a sudden we got busy, you know, we had three or four guys in the road. Had to fight one of our restaurants, a couple car accidents. My guys are going all over the place. We had a threat from a husband. I was gonna show up possibly where his wife is kind of hiding from him with their children. Concerned that it could get ugly kind of quickly. So I had guys everywhere. And we got a call for a, a suicidal party. Third party called in and said that he was on the phone with his buddy. He was, did some tours in Iraq. And they were on the phone together and this gentleman heard a bang outside his window. Thought it was a Taliban coming to get him. And he said to his buddy that he was going to slit his wrists because he wasn't going to let the Taliban take another American life. So his buddy called us, myself, two of my officers got there, located the apartment, opened the back door. Sure shit, man, this guy's coming down the stairs. A deep laceration in his left wrist. Blood everywhere. My boy and my officer, a couple guys from the fire department show up and they put a tourniquet and the officer puts a tourniquet on his arm. Pretty much saves his life, you know. A situation like that, that you walk into, you never nearly know what you're gonna get or what you're facing. This guy, you know, I just been through so much in his life. I couldn't imagine. And he was nothing but respectful to us. I'm sorry. I don't want to be in trouble, couldn't take it. And my officer recognizes a bracelet on his wrist that I had never heard of until this day. It's a Valhalla 22 bracelet. What I've come to learn is that organization supports veterans in ways to better their lives and give them a friend some motivation, some reason to live, you know. My officer knew about this organization because he donates to them monthly. And they connected with this bracelet, this Valhalla 22 bracelet. And he won him over, man, you know. He won his confidence, he won his faith. They text every day now, this officer and this gentleman, this veteran, fought for our lives, our freedom. I'm so proud of him, you know. Not just the the veteran, but my officer too, you know. We live our days and our lives, however we live them, and you never really know what someone is going through. Look at my weird hair. What's going on with that? You never really know what's going on with people in their lives. Let's do it again. Serious topic. I got to make it a little bit light, right? Let me see if I can crop it out. Let me get back to my point. People don't know what other people are going through. Sometimes a smile and a wave. A kind gesture is all they need to get through the day. So, be nice to everybody. Take care.